coding. So right now we have a setup and we have a matrix feature here. Then we're using the line port to within IP address to the country P side. Then we can just type the IP address of the matrix feature to the web browser. Then we just click enter. Then we will see we need to log in. Then we click to log in. After logging, we can see here we actually don't have the multi-function buttons. So but then we need to change the switch on the IP address line to factory. Then we just press enter. Then on this interface, we're really sorry just because the GUI is still in Chinese. If you got the Google Translate, we can just click translate. But basically here we only need to change on the bottom line on this one. So here we only need to type the change because the default it should be zero. So we're gonna just delight zero and type one here. Then we click confirm. Because zero that means it's not to display the multifunction buttons, but with one it means to delight display the multifunction buttons. So we can just back to the login interface. Then we can click the login again. After we log in, we can see here we already got the multifunction buttons. And for the multifunction buttons, and we can go to the setup interface. And we go to the setup interface here, we can see we can customize the multifunction buttons with the uh, hex code here. And also we need to be sure and the bar rate for the the RS232 because normally we use the 96,000 or some of them they also use the 1152,000 so we need to make sure the bot rate okay thank you so much I hope this can be helpful